From beef burgers to bolognese, from stir fries to curry, the onion is the essential ingredient for so many recipes around the world. To peel back the layers on this multi-purpose vegetable, I've come to one of Britain's biggest onion producers, Colmart, to see Dr. Mariel Jones. Hi, Mariel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. A biologist from the University of Liverpool. The wonderful onion, where does it come from? They originate from somewhere in Central Asia where it's very dry for a lot of the year. So the sugar, the water in these bulbs would have been great for people travelling. I would never think of an onion as having a lot of sugar. To me, it's savoury. Yes, but the sugar is concealed in the flavour by the savoury flavours. Is that why it makes such a good basis for a lot of recipes? Absolutely, yes. It's their complex chemistry which makes onions so versatile and creates that all too familiar teary feeling. Boy, do they make you cry. But not immediately. I mean, try taking the skin off one. Okay. And what's it smell like? Nothing. The reason I'm not getting that intense onion smell is because I haven't cut into it. Inside the onion is a chemical that's within the cell and it just sits there quietly, not doing anything. And there's enzymes in another part of the cell. They're kept apart until you cut. And when you cut, you break the cells open and the enzymes break the chemicals up and... Oh. Smells of onion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's stingy <laughs> and slightly uncomfortable. Inside each onion cell, the chemicals and enzymes are kept separate. When the cell is broken open, they mix, producing new chemicals, including one called lacrimatory factor. Lacrimatory factor is what gives the characteristic smell and taste of onions. That's the compound that really sets your eyes off. If there's a lot of that, you'll start crying. You can reduce this by wearing goggles or even chopping under running water. But lacrimatory factor isn't just an eye irritant. It also helps give onions their distinctive oniony taste. And when you cook them, they release a whole load of new flavours. So we're going to fry some onions. You're going to do them for five minutes, I'll do them for 15. So we're going to have a cook-off. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> Oh, yeah. How long you cook them for determines which flavours you get. That is a lovely smell. What is going on inside the onion when it's being cooked? You're getting a reaction between the sugars, the same sort of reaction that makes caramel, so that's a really sweet, nice flavour. And then they also react with the protein in the onion so that you get these great uh, savoury flavours. Time for the come on. It's pretty obvious that cooking onions for just five minutes isn't long enough. Well, they certainly look very different. I mean, yours look lovely and caramelised, and mine look a bit pale. Very crunchy. <laughs> After a shorter cooking time, the raw flavour is still very strong. Very oniony. Let's try yours. Whereas the longer cooked version tastes far better. A very savoury, sweet flavour in there, isn't it? This oniony sweetness is the basis for so many of our favourite dishes. When it comes to cooking them, there is no quick shortcut. They're just splendid. It tastes fantastic. The chemistry under the skin of the onion certainly helps to explain why this vegetable is so very versatile.